let's talk about working with constants. Now, when you deal with constants, you're dealing with something that doesn't change. It's a constant. Look in the language syntax file in scripting basics. And then you can see at the bottom here, we have this define word here. This is going to define constants. Don't worry about the spaces. I just do that for formatting so we can see it better. You don't need to worry about that. That's just white space. But define is how we define constants. They're variables, but unlike variables that we've seen, you can't change them like this variable with the dollar sign. You also don't use the dollar sign. It's a different way of working with it. So we assign the initial value using define and you use valid constant names, very similar to working with just regular variable names, except normally you'd put everything in uppercase. When I work with constants, I put them in uppercase. And that's kind of a standard thing to do when you, when you deal with your constant values, your constant variable names. And you can see here, I uncommented the, these two echoes. Upper limit has a constant value of, and we're just going to echo that without the dollar sign. And then we can see how that works. Right click on this file, and then you can see we didn't put a new line there. We'll put a new line first, like that. Right click, and then you can see upper limit has a constant value of upper limit. Look what we did here. So this is echoing upper limit, which is kind of cool to do that. But at the same time, we need to have that name exactly there. Otherwise, you don't get this answer. So it echoes it out, which is a little bit strange because it wasn't put in quotes. So that is kind of something you can do. It's better than an error, trust me. But that's not the way you want to do it. You want to make sure you keep that name to be exactly what the name is that you want. You don't have to worry about the dollar sign. That's a beautiful thing. If we did use a dollar sign there, it's not going to have a value because we don't have a value there. We never used it. So it's not used as a regular variable. So you have to watch that. That's very, very important to watch that. And I'll put that in there without that little mistake there, just so you can have it working. But if you watch the video, you'll see exactly how it works. Constants. And this is going to be declared in this file. Normally you use include and require statements to put code into different files so you can share them across the files. And constant values here, constant variables, they're normally used to set parameters like a minimum, a maximum area, server name, like you see here, upper limit. They're usually set to set your boundaries for your applications and your websites.